we we had a thing with the can other you, can you can you produce them eh sana nikonyeshe sitaki vipindi hiyo ndio nachukia zaidi <laughs> fikta hapa na kuambia ndani ya pasta show pasta show p a s t a au sio sije kama unja subscribe zio na ngoja nini hii ndio number one online channel ambapo you learn you love you and kama ujaenda shule hapo utajifunza mambo mingi utacheka na utafurahia tu interviews tu nini yani ndio the number one show pasta show subscribe alafu usikose kwenda kale ka finya kale ka notification pele finya 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 kama ukwai kuwa timekeeper shule hapo hii ndio chance ya kufinya kakengele yako pasta show au sio asante sana nifiki hello guys welcome to pasta show of course eh? we are the number one online show east and central africa guys we are continuing with this difficulty story the triple s story which is sticking twist day in day out will we get to know the truth lakini lazima tujue ukweli guys have you yet followed me on instagram at stano underscore pasta show go there follow me and pia unaweza nilushia ka message pale inbox eh? i will reply direct to you eh? there is something that i saw in one of these days kwa channel flani na jita trendy 254 i have decided that i'm going to call the owner or the host of that channel direct on my set so that he can reveal what he did because for me i saw maxwell who according to me is a very fake maxwell but we have the owner of the channel wacha akuja tuambie ukweli first kama na chase cloud second kama ko alijuu huyo maxwell ni fake trend 254 welcome yeah. on set yeah how is you niko poa stano first trend 254 you are on pasta show hot seat yeah hapa kenya tupeni ni vipindi please tell us the truth i have looked for you na nimekuita hapa you come you clarify everything yeah. we saw a very fake maxwell on your on your channel yeah So Stano mean likuwa na Maxwell on my set nilifanya na interview according to me sikujua whether ni fake ama real because i've been following up his story tangu day one since wanze kuifanya na i've been digging mimi nimekuwa nikifanya digging my, my own investigation into the matter so mimi nikifanya story ya ule ule mtu sikujua ni fake ama real because Maxwell hakuna mtu asahi na nimekwambia first kenye sipendi ni kipindi hapa pasta show tupendi vipindi so kwanza umeitikia utatupea ukweli mimi nitawapea ukweli wote nyama ukweli ah yeah. haya tuendelee so ndo nipache that maxwell sijui kama una, unajua yada yada yeah. yada the maxwell's ex girlfriend ex girlfriend mm-hmm. so mimi nimekuwa nikitafuta sources za information cuz this story when ulianza it's something that ilikuwa kubwa sana na ikakuwa ina hit everywhere so mimi nikaamua since tano is doing this acha mimi nianze kufuatilia story ya u maxwell nijue kama ni ukweli and yada has been a very good friend of of me for a very long time yada sija joana na yeye jana ama juzi yada yada wewe na yada mmekuwa mkijuana yeah nimekuwa nikijua yada for a very long time cause ndo nipate maxwell in fact tulikuwa na meeting na yada on the 25th of january hapa thika i'll not dis- wewe na yada mlikuwa na meeting yeah, tulikuwa na meeting at a very siezi disclose the the location exactly for security purposes but yada nimekuwa na yeye na some several secret meetings nikijaribu kutafuta information cause najua yada ndo the only person angeza kunipea lead to maxwell cause yeye ndiye alikuwa ex girlfriend na maanisha anamjua in and out so i've been having very many meetings na yada apatika nikijaribu ku source information from yada nikijaribu kujua kunaenda aje nikijaribu nipate maxwell through yada 2254 why did you have to risk all your life do you know this is a matter between life and death yeah na jua stano na jua ni kitu serious sana i know it is at stake sai and mimi si ati mimi na cloud chase ama anything mimi siko hapa kuleta tu vipindi ama kusema jua najua kwanza stano unataka nga ukweli si pendi kipindi hiyo ndio unachukia zaidi kuja hapa ina maanisha nimepitia panel yako wamesha wamesha ni study wakaona that ndio so me i'm just here to say the truth yada sija joana na yeye jana ama juzi yada we've had we've been together for a very very long time very long kabla Ngo, ngoja kwanza wewe na wewe ulifikaji time at your host a fake maxwell ilifikaji hapo ndipo sielewi so stano mimi venye nimekuanga na hizi secret meetings na yada nikijaribu kutafuta information about maxwell i don't know kama ni yeye alileak information ama ni mtu alikuwa ametuona ama katu spot cuz sasa immediately nimeanza kufuata na yada from 25th january to 
kuna nimeanza kupata inbox messages hata niko na messages kwa simu yangu if you yeah, za nani za za yada and, za yada. and the guys who are approaching me wananiambia uh-huh. trendi kuna story unafuatilia we can offer you maxwell tunataka kuleta maxwell kwa show yako aseme ukweli hiyo now since this is a big story na mimi najua maxwell hajaitaka kuonekana hata kwa pasta show nikaona why not take the chance hmm? cause Maxwell najua is a big person na kuna very many allegations against him so yo, n- nilijua nikipata hiyo chance ya ku kwa channel yangu itakuwa kitu kubwa so i decided to respond to the messages at sjika unezaona kuna information hapo uh-huh. hii ni namba ya yada yada ya 0704 ndio confirm yeah. yeah hapa kuna message from this unknown people amekuwa kiniambia wiki ndio hapa ni date 25th yeah, 25th exactly day yenye nilikuwa na ethika eh. so hawa sasa wakaniambia eh hey, acha kufuata story mingi so CG, i don't know if walikuwa na protect yada ama walikuwa na ji protect wenyewe cause waliniambia instead of kufuata njia mingi unatafuta maxwell we can offer you maxwell maxwell atajileta mwenyewe kwa show yako uh-huh. na hivyo that's why nika reply messages na tuka arrange everything tuka set up location ya ya video pale tutachukua tukafanya everything and funny enough mimi nilikuwa on set mapema sana hiyo siku tukifanya interview kulikuwa na black pajero ilikuja Kuli... kulikuwa na a black pajero iko na driver ameshona shona driver ameja uh-huh. nika hata mimi nilikuwa nafikiri ni bouncer kumbe ni driver hiyo uh-huh. ndio ilikuwa imebeba maxwell na kulikuwa na alikuwa na convoy ya gari tatu so kulikuwa hiyo pajero ya black unajua ina kuna venye haikai inakaa tu government government hivi so i had uh-huh. to notice it So wakakam kwa set as mimi nilikuwa promised wakaniambia tumekuletea Maxwell so you'll be you'll be hosting Maxwell for the first time nini nini nikaongea mpaka na security detail directors wangu tukafanya setting ya setting ya the set yetu mimi nikaongoza because in fact Maxwell akutoka kwa gari immediately uh-huh. the Maxwell I had alika for some times juu walikuwa wana, wanafikiria nini so the moment alitoka kwa gari Maxwell al- alikuja akanigotea unajua msa mimi mjui ya yani njui kaniambia hey, I am ready for the interview nini and akakaa kwa set si tukaanza mambo yetu that's how I got to ku host Maxwell kwa show yangu sasa shida kubwa stano ilikuja when after nimefanya shughuli yangu and I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on camera but unajua sasa kufanyia mtu mkubwa kama huyo interview Atuzi sema ati nililipwa ama venye nimeona accusations hapo comments watu wanasema uh, nimelipwa na cartel kufanya nini but Maxwell alini appreciate na tip he gave me some certain amount of cash Maxwell yeah after the interview aliniambia because for the good work that you have done interview yangu shika hiyo kule siezi sema ni malipo ama ni nini how much how much was it I don't know if I'm allowed to disclose disclose, disclose eh mm-hmm. nimekwambia hapa tunatakanga ukweli unaekelea juu ya meza yeah. disclose okay maxwell alinipea tip the, the, the tip was 75000 in cash 75000 75000 Kenyan shillings in cash na hiyo unasema ni ku appreciate juu ame host alikuwa anani appreciate juu nime host unajua sam mtu mkubwa kama huyu aki pesa kai hiyo in fact hata si kitu kwake so mimi kwangu it was something big ndo maana hata after hiyo story kuna venye nimekuwa nikionekana pale thika rara kidogo but cuz unajua 75k si pesa kidogo stano hata wewe ndio na unajua si ni vijana nini my director alikuwa hapo tukasema acha tuambie mwili po mwili pole but hiyo hawakunipea at inform at the off at at tumekulipa ufanye hii story ama me didn't know he was fake in information tu nimekuwa nikigather from yada nini so sijui kama walikuja na hiyo fake story ku cover up yada ama ku cover up your story ama ni nini lakini nikuulize 2254 didn't you think that that one was trying to divert attention to tuache kutafuta dorin Okay mimi for, for at in fact mimi niki have ma- you know they are hijacking deep secret number 2 Yeah. Are you conversant with that? Yeah, I'm conversant with it from the from the show that will come fanya jana. Na pia nilikuwa naona use uko kwa channel yake pia akisema oh oh oh. So me I, I I I don't know what is really going on kwa sababu alinileta ule mse on my set na I don't know why nimekuwa linked na history. I don't I totally don't know kwa nini nimekuwa linked na history ya deep secret number 2. Because after you attend on Lilana you can confess here that they gave you 75000 cash yeah i, I have evidence hata director wangu tunaweza mpigia hapa kwa sets sitaongea na yeye muulize how much alipewa 
because niye kwanza ali receive hiyo baasha ilikuwa envelope akapewa 75000 anaweza anaweza unajua sasa pesa kaa hiyo uweze enda ukipiga picha cause it's also risky ati watu wanakuona mtani alafu all of a sudden uko na pesa mingi kaa hiyo vijana unajua it's not safe for us but the maxwell that you had on set yeah. said he is vying for mc but yeah. maxwell in the recent is going for, is vying for governorship so upon the, after me uploading the video on my channel hapo sando kulikuwa na kizungumkuti stano cause comments zilianza ku trickle in watu wanasema Troy umelipwa na cartel sikuja tulete fake Maxwell. Jukiti ya kwanza watu walikuwa wananiambia that is not Maxwell. Maxwell si light skin. Exactly. Maxwell is a black skin and so sauti hazipelekani hadi kidogo. Sasa hiyo sauti pia ndio ilileta shida. Alafu kitu ya tatu, huyu ndo sasa pia mimi nianze ku, kuona it's like kuna contradiction and maybe nilicheza sikuletwa the real Maxwell. The Maxwell nilikuwa naye on set nilimuuliza E, e, kiongozi hebu tuambie kwanza ni nani then he said I'm Maxwell and I'm vying for MCA seat sasa hapo ndo kulikuwa na the big hapo ndo hata mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa na watch hiyo interview after kuona comments ni realize kuna some differences because Maxwell is vying for governorship na the Maxwell I had alikuwa MCA so mimi nikaona hapa kuna venye nimechezwa and immediately after kuona comments from your guys from mata we mwenyewe ulikuwa umekuja hapo ukanicall ukaniambia eh hey, uko sure hiyo ni Maxwell kweli because Maxwell wenyewe unajua can't reveal himself on public ndio hapo ndo nilijua nimechezwa trend 254 we have fans yeah. all over the world we have fans from Canada we have fans from USA We have fans from fans from Norway. We have fans from Dubai. We have fans from Qatar. We have fr- fans from uh, Tanzania. We have fans from Uganda. We have fans all over the world. Yeah. And even where you are shooting that thing, we also have fans there. And after airing that video, some of our fans sent me a video clip of behind the scene of what you are shooting. But Maxwell was on a shot. So How? Unajua Stano. But Maxwell was on a shot. Yeah, unajua Stano kuna vitu mingi. Maxwell first is a tycoon, let me tell you. There is no way Maxwell will ever come on set with a shot. Yeah, unajua Stano sisi hatujai ona Maxwell, sisi hatujui Maxwell. So mimi mtu amekuja na pajero ya black hapo, mtu amefuatwa na convoy, ako na security detail. Mimi ningejua aje ati ni, obviously alikuja kama alikuwa amevaa short na t-shirt kwa ume nimeona hizo video zimeanza ku circulate hizo za BNC pia umeziona zimeanza Instagram TikTok ni, Facebook nimeziona kila pahali saa hizi zina trend zina trend but Maxwell alikuwa amevaa short ya white na t-shirt unajua sasa mimi nimeona kuna msafara nimeona ni mtu akona pesa so i couldn't question is venye amevaa singe singe mkwestion at nianze kuuliza yeye na kwani umevaa short na wewe ni milionea ama uko na pesa unajua ni hiyo ni kama choice yake alafu unajua pia na unanga hawa wadosi za zingine wanakuanga tu free spirit maybe mtu ameamua leo nitavaa slippers so i couldn't question that back to the story of yada yeah. nimepata interest sana na hiyo story umeniambia that you and yada have been friends for a very long time yeah. which all of us don't know Friendship yenu limit liko imefikia wapi na nimekwambia you are on pastor show hot seat please don't give us vipindi continue okay miss kwa hapa kutanish jina ya mtu yote ama ku expose mtu yote ama ku chess cloud na jina ya mtu yote but ya data mwenye anajua in fact kama anaweza patikana kuje kwa set she can confirm friendship yetu si ya jana stano na it, it's something that niko na messages niko na chats whatsapp chats from 2020 We we had a thing with the other. Can you can you produce them? Eh? Chani konyeshe. Saki vipindi hiyo ndio nachukia zaidi. So yada nimekuwa na yeye since 2020 we started out as friends kuna Hebu conversation yake. Uh, uh, you can confirm ndo namba yake, ndio? Ama ama si una 704. Yeah. Yada nimekuwa na yeye za unaweza pitianga tu. Mm-hmm. Yada nimekuwa na yeye za. Na naona hapa mkiitana sweet hearts na baby. Ah uh, stano. Sweet heart na baby. Why you why you the two of you guys dating? Yeah to lead date for some time because you are dating yeah, with Yada. Ni me date Yada for. Na tena hapa hivi hebu kwanza nione hii. Kwanza hii conversation naona kama hapa hivi it's dated date to date, date August. Uh, no, 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 August 8th 2020. 2020. Yeah so uno, ata, were you dating last year? The two of you. Okay Yada to tumeka na yeye since 2020 si ndio? Uh, And uh, kuna time amekuja akapata job when you are still dating. The two of you were yeah. dating. Yeah. Na uh-huh. ya, yada atukukuza ati tukakuwa of ati, ati tuka break up na officially. So what happened is that yada 
hii 2020 last year yada alikuja akapata kazi and yada hakuniambia anything alikuja tu akadisappear nikasikia mara ame travel mara ako kazi mara ako wapi so we never Hapa kwanza naona amekutumia screenshot anakuambia ko Dubai yeah. so we, we, we never like really broke up or anything Dubai mlikuwa mmeenda na yama alikuwa ameenda peke yake alikuwa ameenda peke yake in fact ni yote mnakuambia yada li disappear from my life so Bado bado tulikuwa tuna have some little conversation najua cuz see at this Dubai is coming for the second time. Yeah. Right now Sharon is in Dubai. Yeah. Hapa hivi tena naona yada, yada. 2020 alikuwa Dubai. Dubai. So is it is it does it mean that there are some cartels also in Dubai? Ah uh, hiyo sasa siko sure stano hiyo siwezi sema najua anything. But sasa recently after nimesikia history yako na nikaona nikasikia story ya yada on your show I started digging deep nianze kujua huyo yada kulienda aje cuz aliniacha bila kusema anything so when i'm doing my investigation nikaanza kusikia kuna place yada ameonekana bado the same thicker ameonekana na some big guys wana squeeze sijui wanaitwa big boys uh-huh. watu wana role na gari kubwa kubwa cuz life ya yada acha nikwambie ili change instantly unaona venye mnaweza kuwa na mtu mtani mnateseka teseka mmeparara after yada amepata kazi of which siju ilikuwa kazi gani mm-hmm. naanza kuona yada ame post instagram pale ako dubai yada ako siju hoteli gani pale tao na si hoteli ya timu tu kama mimi naezaenda tu niingie ni hoteli kubwa kubwa so that's when nikaanza kushikanisha dots nikasikia yada sikuzi ana role na big people in the in the in the government so hapo ndo nikakuja tena kusikia story ya maxwell sasa nikaona hapa yenyewe there are, kuna dots mingi sana za kujoiniwa na hapo ndo nikajua alikuwa girlfriend wa maxwell that's why nilikuwa namtafuta nilikuwa na date side chick cause I, she, she was side chick to maxwell so is it true yeah so you are dating someone side chick were you the main guy ama kulikuwa kunaenda aje okay so me see you the relationship in my last how long stay no cause mimi nikiwa na yada i knew i was the main guy sasa me see you what happened between hiyo sana na na up to now cause sikukuwa najua ati ako na mtu mwingine hata mimi venye tuliachana akienda job nilijua ako job i didn't know ati ameenda kuwa side chick wa mtu or, or girlfriend wa mtu hmm? when did you came to notice that yada and max were dating after say story imekuwa kubwa stano after umekuja ukaletoa story za yada the mean kwanza nilikuwa nakuja naangalia title naona yada and i'm like mimi kuna yada najua na kulienda hivi na hivi life ika change instantly so i started following up then to my shock nikakuja nika realize it's the same yada mwenye anaongelewa kwa pasta show ndio ako kwa ndio pia mimi nilikuwa namjua so siku siku kwa najua ati maybe yako na mtu uko nje ama okay kul, kul, nilikuwa na make assumptions maybe alipata sponsor unajua ma wasichana sikuizi sikuizi uwezi uwezi jua star no so i saw you in uh, Yuzi's house yeah. at 2 am yeah. in the morning what was happening so Yuzi pia obviously first, first Troy you are risking your life too much bana you are risking first do you have security you don't cuz nimekuona ukikuja pale umekuja na huna security and you can even afford to risk your life and go to use his house at 2 am i uh, just know mimi when i'm doing my own digging into some things sikwangi na okay use mimi nikienda ku approach sikwa nimeenda na nia mbaya or anything cuz use amekuwa painted as the as the bad person kwa hii saga yote ndio so me I just wanted to know from use kama ni kweli hizo allegation me I was just doing a private interview eh sikwa na nia yote so hata pale nilikuwa nimeenda na my director and some other two guys wanakonga ma bouncer from pale mtaani ndio but hata wako kubaliwa kuingia so tulikuwa tumekwa tu kando na direct hata director ndio aingie ilikuwa kazi ngumu cuz nilikuwa nawaambia nimekuja interview kama Yuzi ame allow interview nani hata ni shoot hmm? but the, the the moment nilipatana na Yuzi nilikuwa nimemngoja all the way mchana yote paka saa sa nane usiku venye aliingia Yuzi hata ukiangalia hiyo video Yuzi alikuwa akwa soba Yuzi alikuwa na tambla na hata ukiangalia nguo zenye alikuwa amevaa cardigan it was ilikuwa inakaa too fishy cuz sasa tunafaa ku expect use yake anafanya wedding plans but in the ear state nilimpata akiwa alikuwa amelewa akuwa soba use like use siezi explain venye alikuwa tu na ilikuwa something very hard kupata use hata sikujua use yako na security detail kama hiyo siji hata kama ni security detail ama maybe ni ma au magunso wa mtaani but use ya yuko peke yake use ya za team watu wana watu wame protect pia yeye na ilikuwa ngumu sana kumfikia hmm. remember this is the triple s story have you followed me on instagram go follow me at stano and as pastor show pia unaweza nirushia kind box hapo i'm going to reply direct to you my 
I personally am the one who is going to view your comment and your question. Go there, follow me, and you can ask your question. Pia, trendy two five four. You know, I have a very big panel that looks into matter with a very deep consideration. I was told that yesterday, ulikuwa kwa kinashiba home. Was it true first? Yeah, nilikuwa nimetafuta tafuta shiba na nika manage kumpata. Though si kwao, but she is somewhere with mama yake, akona mama yake pale yako. And I was told that ulienda huko ukauliza maswali mingi sana. Yeah, nilikuwa nataka kujoin information. Nilikuwa natafuta information from Shiba. Cuz najua Shiba is like the center of attention kwa the, this whole saga. So me I had cuz unaona when nilikutafuta nilitafuta Yuzi. So I had to look for the other parties ndio watu waseme niko biased that maybe kuna information pia mimi na hide or anything. So when nilitafuta Yuzi I had to look for she pia atuambie cuz mimi hata nia yangu ya kumtafuta ilikuwa ni jue ka wedding bado. Cuz hata nikiwa kwa Yuzi uko hata nyumba yake sikuweza kuangalia siku like it was so secretive hata mlango yuzi mwenyewe alikuwa anafungua hivi nika kuna kitu inafichwa ndani so sikuweza ku, kujua kama shiba ko ndani ama na unajua obviously lazima upate curiosity sindo so venye uko kulikuwa kwa yuzi kulikuwa so uptight aungeza kujua anything else cuz hata yuzi mwenyewe akinpea interview alinpea a lot of threat threats so me after ku scan information from my other sources that shiba ayuko hapo ako side ingine koza kwa ako to hapa long thick road sita disclose the exact tested but ako na mama yake i had to go there here to as in one interview let's meet on the next episode today so that we can know exactly ulisema ulienda kwa kina shiba yeah. remember dorin the deep secret number one was that shiba atapoteza memory ameipoteza sahi remember the wedding they say it must continue shiba mepoteza memory let's meet very soon after this so that we can know the deep secret number one. if it has been kama imekuja kupita kama imekuja ku kweli remember this is the triple s story and of course i'm stano go follow, go follow me on instagram at stano underscore pasta show like the videos like photos and of course you'll enjoy 2254 after very few minutes from now or just one hour from now we are going to premiere live what you went to shiba's house and found na kitu ya kwanza umesema Kenya unatuambia hapa ni ukweli si kipindi ni ukweli kabisa stano ni si kipindi ni ukweli kabisa mimi i'm not here to at kuches cloud ama kuleta vipi mimi hii kitu it's a big matter na najua a lot of lives are at, are at risk mimi wenyewe nimekuwa involved mimi mwenyewe sasa najua sijui i don't know the way forward when hata nitajitoa kwa story but siwezi kuja hapa kusema vitu sijui guys any time from now the second part of trend 254 is coming up live Remember we want to know Shiba amepoteza memory. Woi. Amepoteza memory. Woi. Amepoteza memory. Remember Mr. No and this is the Triple S story. Let's meet in a bit.